Do you think uh, on-site renewables are actually possible with the passive house? Are they compatible with the passive house design? Yes, of course they are. Uh, you, you always can add uh, renewable energy to any type of, of, of uh, building. Um, and uh, what you see, if you have a passive house which has reduced uh, the demand for energy uh, to a very low level, the fraction which you can get from renewables will be much higher than in a normal building. And uh, this is one of the reasons we, we uh, turned to these efficiency measures because when you try to build a house which is supplied by on-site uh, renewable, uh, if you really try to do that, you will see this is a very tough task. Because even in, in, in UK during winter, there's not much solar energy available. So you end up with very huge collectors and still it doesn't match. So that was the reason why we uh, decided to look on how to reduce the overall energy use. And, and that's what, what, what can work very well together if you, if you want to do that. Yes. Mm. Uh, the question was also aimed at, um, we have seen some of the designs in the UK mm. where the requirements for renewable energy have actually gone to the extent of changing the design. Mm. So it's actually difficult to um, pass passive house because but, you know, this is what we're seeing, and I mean, I think uh, mm. that was. Would you care to comment on um, large monopitch south-facing roofs where yeah. it's difficult to get any glazing in? That, that was the yeah. Uh, so we, we, we always have to keep track of that the main purpose of a building mm -hmm. is not to save energy or to create energy, but to be a place where people live, and so uh, to substitute a south-facing area which might be the nicest place in a room, mm. uh, by, uh, by having it covered by solar collectors, will at the end not be a model for, uh, for, for good uh, quality of life. It's just an, elect an, an architectural thing. Or mm. uh, uh, The main purpose why you build buildings is to have a high quality of life. Mm. And the quality of life is somehow better in a room which has a south-facing window. So. Uh, so we have to keep track of these things, of course, no, 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 no questions. But it's not a passive house. Again, uh, even the, the, the buildings are not built to save energy. Again, mm -hmm. yeah, this is, uh, so the passive house is not the, the main thing why you build a building. Uh, the main thing is good quality of life for people. And uh, you always can build that as a passive house if you want, uh, which might not be possible with lots of the other solutions, mm -hmm. which have much higher restrictions to if you look on, uh, on, on solar energy, of course, you need for solar energy, you need south-facing areas. And mm -hmm. that, that could be tough in, a, mm -hmm. in an urban mm -hmm. environment. Huh? could be really tough. Well, what, what's your opinion of uh, zero-carbon buildings and, oh, or zero-carbon target, targets for buildings? Well, um, y you always can have a lot of targets, but I don't understand why a, a building has to be zero-carbon, because if we have a very, very low consumption compared to what we have now, this can be a sustainable solution. And if we reach a sustainable solution, why should we go farther than that? It could be really expensive. So if there are convincing solutions, no, no question, but you have to come from a convincing solution mm -hmm. and not from a target that at the very moment, I think this target will create very, very expensive mm. uh, solutions, mm. um, which are not needed, where you could use the money better to invest in a, a wind generator or in a biomass plant or, or whatever. Or a large-scale one, you mean? Invest in a larger scale than a than Yeah, or even small scale, even, even a small-scale wind yeah. generator might be more reasonable mm. than a zero energy mm. home. Um, uh, well, I, I, there, there might be new solutions coming up, so we, sh we shouldn't fight against good solutions. But, mm. That's okay. Mm. If there are, is a good solution, use it. Yeah? Mm. But as far as I've seen, it, it becomes more and more difficult to reduce in a home, to really reduce it to mm. zero. Yeah? Mm. Of course, you can calculate a lot of things. Mm. But if, if you are honest about the results, if you really try to get a zero energy home, my experience so far is that grows and costs uh, tremendously. So, uh, so I wouldn't recommend to do that. Mm. Is that why in mm. PHPP mm. you report 
um, energy generated on site from, say, photovoltaics separately yeah. to the building target? No, that, that is, uh, it, in fact, to be honest, uh, based on a, a, a German specialty. We could change that for other countries. Yeah. The German specialty is that the photovoltaics, there is a big subsidy for photovoltaics. Mm -hmm. It's that high that it's uh, almost uh, no investment in photovoltaics. Uh, so uh, my decision was, this is high enough a incentive for photovoltaics. And that's good, I'm not against it, that's okay. But now you shouldn't substitute other measures which are reasonable by mm. photovoltaics, uh, because uh, uh, if it's if the photovoltaics is just subsidized by uh, the state, um, it, it, it shouldn't be in a competition with, say, insulating of a building. So I want it to have reported on a, on a, on a different sheet. understand that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So that's, a, that's the reason. Mm. So if it's d different in, in, in Britain, of course, as long as somebody has to pay for the photovoltaics and has to pay for insulation, and if that is a fair competition, that's okay. You can play that. But uh, if it's uh, if the subsidies are uh, that high, like they are in Germany, uh, we have to avoid that mm. uh, that the reasonable things are not done just yeah, because yeah. the people mm. think we. Yeah. 